Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at the case of Sri Lankan citizen Rizana Nafik, her conviction and execution for murder, which caused an unprecedented diplomatic storm as she was a minor when committing her crime. Born on the 4th of February 1988 in Mutur, a small Sri Lankan town of 3,589 people, 25 kilometers south of Trincomalee, Nafik was born into a poor family as one of four siblings. For school, she attended Imam Shafi Vidyalaya. In 2005, civil war between Sri Lanka and the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Ilam, known as the Tamil Tiger Rebels, was returning to the region, and Nafik's father, Sultan Nafik, lost his job collecting wood in the forest. The Sri Lankan Civil War was a civil war between Sri Lanka and the Tamil Tigers, which lasted from the 23rd of July 1983 until the 18th of May 2009. The conflict had disastrous results for the broken country, with up to 100,000 people killed across the conflict and 800,000 people displaced at the peak of the conflict in 2001. The economic cost of war is estimated to have been $200 billion. The conflict ended on the 18th of May 2009 with the defeat of the Tamil Tigers and the Sri Lankan government establishing complete control over the island with President Mahinda Rajapaska officially declaring an end to the civil war in the Sri Lankan parliament on the 19th of May 2009. On the 4th of May 2005, Nafik, at the age of 17, travelled to work in Saudi Arabia as a domestic helper to ensure that her three other siblings could attend school. However, Saudi law prohibited the recruitment of those under the age of 18 from overseas, so her passport was falsified by a Sri Lankan job agency. She worked in Dawadami. 120 kilometers west of Rehad with a population of 300,001 person in 2004 as a domestic servant for a Saudi family. However, she was also made to undertake childcare duties, which she was not expecting. 18 days after she arrived on the 22nd of May 2005, her employer's four-month-old child, Naif al Qatabi died while in her care. Arriving home at 1.30pm, having seen her dead child, the child's mother assaulted Nafik with her slippers. The al Qatibi family alleged that Nafik had strangled the child following an argument with her mother, while Nafik claimed that Naif choked on a bottle by accident during feeding. Dawadami police insisted that Nafik was guilty but did not perform a post-mortem on Naif or determine the cause of her death. Nafik alleged that she had made a confession under duress without access to a translator, was assaulted while in custody, and did not have access to a lawyer. On the 18th of June 2007, Nafik was sentenced to death, and here is where her age became a factor. The Convention on the Rights of a Child, of which Saudi Arabia ratified in 1996, argues that persons under the age of 18 at the time of committing their crime cannot be executed. However, Saudi Arabia argued that as long as an individual was over the age of 18 at the time of their sentencing, they could be executed, and equally referred to Nafik's passport, noting that the legal document stated that she was 23 years old at the time of committing the crime, despite her birth certificate and school records at Imam Shaif Vidyal contradicting this. Indeed, at the time, Saudi Arabia was one of only three countries that executed individuals who committed crimes as minors. President Mahinda Rajapaska of Sri Lanka twice appealed to the then King of Saudi Arabia, Abdullah bin Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, requesting a pardon for Nafik, which Al Saud refused to allow. Prince Charles of Wales also appeared to King Abdullah for the pardon of Nafik, which was refused. It was requested for Queen Elizabeth II to request a pardon, which never came to fruition. Attempts were made by the Saudi government to receive a pardon from Naif al Qatalibi's family through paying blood money, which would have enabled Nafik not to have been executed under Saudi law, which was refused by the family. With international appeals failing, the death sentence of Naifik was reaffirmed in October 2006. 
Nafik was controversially beheaded in Dawadmi on the 9th of January 2013, with condemnation from Nafik's native Sri Lanka, with the Sri Lankan parliament observing a minute's silence, and opposition member for parliament Ranjanyan Ramanyaki describing the Saudi government as dictators which only execute citizens of African and Asian descent. The United Nations, the European Union, France and the United Kingdom all condemned Nafik's execution. Nafik's family was offered a payment of 16,000 US dollars from the Saudi government in compensation which was rejected. On the 24th of June, Nafik's family headed to Sri Lanka's capital Colombo to collect their daughter's corpse and announced that they had forgiven the Al Qatibi family for her execution. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.